Alright, uh, I don't remember what we're doing, so I'm just gonna get you my party. By the way, the video started. What? Yeah, a little bit. Oh, oh shut up, Justin. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, guys, we're back to Let's Play Mystery Dungeons Blue Rescue Team. This is the post game, as we've mentioned before. I'm Blue, and this is... Scott. And we're here today to... Oh, right, I forgot one thing. Give me just a second, it's gonna make some noise. Ladies and gentlemen, Gabe has left to shit his pants because he's so bewildered by what we're facing today. Alright, guys, I forgot something that I had in my, uh, uh, desk drawer. I have a guidebook to this game. Oh, yeah. I, can, I bought this and I forgot. <laughs> Uh, I bought it after the end of the Let's Play because I knew I would be playing this again for the post game, and it has everything I could ever need in it about everything. They did a really good job. So you want me to pick a random location from this, or one sec? By the way, guys, you probably should have figured out setting this up before we started recording. Yeah, I just read through it and I forgot that this is where that happens. All right. Or what happens? Uh, we'll we'll see it. If we don't see it, then we'll see it the second time through because that's the reason. One of the reasons we're gonna be heading back. Um. So I'm gonna start getting stuff out of my thing. So yeah, folks. Uh, I'll explain once we're in the dungeon. But the buried relic is quite the bitch to traverse. So much so that it requires two trips to get absolutely everything in there, and even then, your second trip is not guaranteed to get the thing you're looking for. I will be back in just a second. All right. Oh, who is that over there? Never seen it before. It's not from around these parts. No more. I can't walk anymore. I'm falling down. Goodness, it needs help. Where? Uh -huh. It's Blue's house. Uh, it's also rescue team space. Oh, did you maybe rescue me? Uh, th thank you. <laughs> it's okay. There's no need for thanks. Rather than that, what happened? Y y yes, I'm named Spinda. I like to travel. I've been traveling all over, seeing the sights and other Pokemon. It was on my travels that I heard rumors of a Mirage Pokemon. A Mirage Pokemon? Yes, that. Isn't it exciting? Ever since then, I've been traveling all over in hopes of seeing the Mirage Pokemon, but I've had no luck. Finally, I became dizzy from fatigue, and I must have passed out. I... I'm giving up on my quest. I'm simply worn out. Wait a second. Are you sure you won't... you won't regret giving up that easily? But I... I've reached my physical limit. If I push myself any further, I'll collapse again. It's not good for my health. Please, I want you to have this. Scott receives something from Spinda. Uh, what is this? It's a clear wing. Clear wing? Y yes I found it on my travels. It's a wing of some sort. It's transparent, but if you hold it up like this, see, depending on the light, it takes on many different colors. At first, I thought it was just pretty to look at, but after checking around, it appears to be related to the Mirage Pokemon somehow. But I couldn't learn anything beyond that. <laughs> it's very disappointing, but I'm giving up. Uh, you might be slightly drunk. Wait, are you okay? You're still unsteady on your feet. Oh, no. When I walk, I always totter. Bye. Clear wing, huh? I don't have a clue what this is all about. But the Mirage Pokemon does interest you, right? I think Zatu is the one to ask something what that is the one to ask for something like this. Zatu should be at the peak of the Grand Canyon. Great Canyon. We should go to the Great Canyon. Alright guys, uh slight change of plans from our original thing. We're I'm actually ending the session here. Something happened with Scott and he's not able to do things now, but that cutscene initiated and I couldn't really take that back. So, it'll be a second for you, maybe a couple hours for us. Bye! 
Um, I'm gonna bring in one Max Elixir. Besides, it's not like we're gonna need it. It's not gonna be a very long dungeon. Eh. It's better safe than sorry. And while I'm thinking of it... <laughs> the man himself, he deserves a treat. Good boy. Stop treating your friends like dogs! <laughs> Alright guys, welcome back to Let's Play Mr. Dungeons. So... I, I meant to say Blue Rescue Team in there somewhere. I forgot to. Post-game. Also, uh, fun fact, I'm not sure if I was able to repair this, but Justin, I haven't told you yet. Or, I guess you're Scott because you prefer that name. I'm sorry, old habits. Um, there you go. Now speak from your butthole, man. So, Scott? Yeah. Um, you know how you had to leave in that weird situation that you apparently don't even remember, but it had to do with that thing that I'm not going to mention on camera about your social life and your personal life and stuff? You and mean you were that, very stressed out? You mean when I had to scratch my ass with a potato? Yes. No, no, that wasn't... Okay, sure. Uh, well, I'm not... I, I started going over the footage, and I can't get it to work. The I, Spinda footage. I can't get it to work. Well, yes, because during that episode, the Spinda thing didn't happen. It did? No. Yes, it hey. did. Gabe. Oh. Okay. Game. Fine. Freeze on me. Alright, guys, we're back after a little bit of an interruption with the recording again. We're not back, actually. What? We're not back. What? Why aren't we back? Because someone left Sexy in the truck and someone needs to bring Sexy back. <laughs> Shut up. <laughs> so, as I was saying before, I'm not sure what to do about the Spinda thing. Whether I can fix that footage or I completely have to get new footage for that. I don't know. Spinda Maybe... is not a thing. Justin? What? We're, we're going to the Great Canyon. But, 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 what about... It doesn't matter. We had a quest event, and I'm showing off this episode because that's how we started this episode. Oh, hey, it's you just killed the little the skip loom. Well, I murder a lot of things with my claws. Why? Why are you even... See if you left flamethrower on. Oh my god, a flamethrower! Oh, you don't have flamethrower on. I didn't turn that on. Dickhole. Uh, why? Because you're not letting me use my most powerful move. By the way? Yeah. What? This is some boot! I'm gonna keep my mouth shut. It's fine. I got this. That's why we can't go see about the thief, because you can't surf. I, I think I probably have to evolve first. Which is weird, because you can teach surf to every water Pokemon. Um, okay. I'm like 90% sure most water type Pokemon and most. several Pokemon who aren't water types can learn it. Most. Not all. Fucking Rhydon can surf. Yeah, but not and all water bitch types. Is allergic to water. And? That just means he's really good with it. Oh my god, it's a fan bee! Oh my god, the jokes is overused. Uh, do, do I have a fan bee in my team? Do you know? No. You don't know, or we don't have it? We don't have one. Okay. Perfect. <laughs> no, I would not like to give it a new nickname. Come on. Let's see. The Squirtle family, the Nido, Nido King and Nido Queen. Okay, fan uh, The Psycho family, the... Polyrath family, Tina Cool and Tina Cruel, Slowpoke family, Seal family, Shelter family, Krabby family, Lickitun can learn it, Rhydon can learn it, Kangaskhan can learn it, the Horsey family can learn it, Goldeen family can learn it, Staryu family can learn it, uh, Tauros can learn it, Gyarados, Lapras, Big Horn on. she loves you. She does, but I'm actually doing a recording. Oh, I'm sorry. Hi, Gage, Mama! <laughs> <laughs> so that was fun. Yeah. 
But yeah, pretty much every Pokemon can learn Surf. That is a water type. Um. So I got an Orenberry. And I'm leaving you all behind! Dare. By the way, why do they call them Orenberries? I'm... I don't actually know. I feel like I had some theory about that once more time and I've forgotten it. Okay. Would you stop why that? Why is Fan Piece sniffing that vile plume? Uh, to get high? I don't know. Well, wait a minute. We're not in the lair of Professor Pothead, though. That doesn't make sense. Yeah. Where do you think this is? This is where Professor Pothead is. That's who we're going to visit right now. Yeah, but we're not there. Batroom! Dead. My parents are dead! What about bread? Dead. What about bread? I swear to God, I'm gonna smack you with a loaf of it. Dead. You are just creating millions and millions of batch rooms. They deserve it. All because I made one joke. No, it's more of the fact that I kill everything in my path. I'm kind of a monster, if you hadn't noticed. A big fucking alligator monster, no less, wearing a loincloth diaper. Yeah! Um... I wanna be the very best. No one ever had. I can't have my real best. I can't do it. I can't do it. I can't do it. Where do you think we should head from here? Okay. Okay, dude. Dude. Um. We we please stop. <laughs> Are you okay? Do I need to find some- do I need to get someone? Oh, so it's a little bit loud. Please stop. Scott, that EXE has crashed. You did all that for that joke, didn't you? Yes, I did. <laughs> I think I hate you. No, I'm pretty sure, actually, I hate you. What did I do? Oh, hey. Heracross is prepared to endure your hit. You can't even hit me. Well, he's hitting you. It's just not doing much. No, he missed twice in a row. That's how much stronger you are than him. Poor Heracross, why can't we have one of those on the team? Oh. There is actually an item for that. Why did Fampy die? Because they're idiots. More like the Fampy's brand new to the team and you left him alone. No. You're the worst babysitter ever. How can... It was one room over for where we started. Ain't that always how it happens? The... Oh god, Fanpy is going to die. <sighs> Why did we get the Pokemon that apparently can't beat any Pokemon in here? Because it has to get stronger and train to be the very best like no one ever was. Okay, please stop it. I'm sorry, but that was overdone. It was way too long and I kept asking you to stop. <laughs> I told you, Scott docks the EXE had crashed. I had to restart. Yeah. Normally when my computer restarts, it's not uh, trying to pierce my eardrums. Well, that was the part of me that was crashing. Your eardrum piercers? Yeah. You're a very special person. Uh, well, I am one of a kind. Yes, you are. And that's why I'm going to hijack the LP channel in your sleep. Uh-huh. Try to guess my password. And then we will play nothing but Mario is missing. 
I hate to ask, but which one do you mean? Both! One of those would get us flagged, and the other one would probably get us flagged just because it's a piece of crap. <laughs> hey, I'm willing to take the risk, are you? No! I'm not gonna lose my channel because we played some porn game and some terrible game that sucked. Well, here's the thing. No matter how you slice it, Mario is missing is one of the most influential games in Mario history. Uh-huh, how? Simple. It showcases Mario's sex life, the one thing Nintendo has never answered about. You know you don't play as Mario in either of those games, right? Exactly. He has no sex life. He's dead. On the inside. Um... I worry about you. The only thing you need to worry about is making it to Professor Bothead so you can get some good kush. Professor Bothead? One room over. I said pot! <laughs> I'm getting tired of this. I'm not. I'm enjoying myself. Now you see, if I were in charge, this wouldn't be happening. Uh-huh. Just saying. Uh-huh. Hey, you don't have to believe me. Mm-hmm. So, Mr. Genius, where do you think we should go? Uh, you're in charge. And also starving. I honestly don't care. And this is why Raven tells you to bring apples, because you're too stupid to feed yourself. See? That's why I didn't care. Professor Pothead! We need your sage advice. Isn't this your voice? Hmm, what is it? Have you a reason to see me? Hmm, this... This is a clear wing. Hmm, I see. About the Mirage Pokemon. This is what you wish to know? Hmm. The Mirage Pokemon. I know. Little about it. Hmm. Pass with the brownies. What? <laughs> However, there are Pokemon that live, breathe, and prosper with the very land. They rage with the eruption of volcanoes. Mm hmm. Roar as one with the thunder. Mm. And race with the north wind. Mm. They are said to be shadows. Shadows of the Mirage Pokemon. Mm. To the northwest, there lies a large island. The island known as the Three Fields. There is one such field, the Fiery Field. One of the Pokemon. A shadow of the mirage is there. Go. You must go to the fiery field. The answers you seek, perhaps they await you there. Dun 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 dun! Gain access to the fiery field. The rescue team members disperse to the friend areas. If you want to add members, the, yeah. Uh, we'll not save just in case. This is the start of a very fun part of the game. You told... Why'd you go robot? Going to dungeons to unlock other dungeons. Robot. What? You went complete robot what? there. Hello? What? Speak. <laughs> You're not cutting out. <laughs> Cut your crap. Your shenanigans are too damn high. <laughs> So much words. So much words. Occasionally you cut out. That's weird. <laughs> eh, it might be a connection thing. Maybe. It might be the fact that I'm playing Pokemon Showdown during this recording. Why? I don't know. I started playing before we started recording. I, I can't understand you. 
It's not my fault. Boop. How is it now? Better. Yeah, probably shouldn't have left uh, Showdown open. All right. No, I think that's good. Uh, can I buy anything more? No. Yes, actually, I can. No! Justin? What? Calm thyself. Oh! No. Let's go to the crater. We used... We we stop the shenanigans. Bro, okay. What was that? What? The screen turned gold. What? When you bought the thing from Wiggly Top, th it happened again. Yeah. Every time you buy something from this fairy man, it turns gold. Yeah, and this is strange. That never happened when I played the game. Uh. What kind of ROM hack are you playing? Uh, run away. <laughs> no. Fucking. No. But, um. I'm just gonna give. You know what? You deserve it. You, you deserve a good meal sometimes. Sometimes, bitch. I'm hungry. That would be joke. Special attack rose by it one. Taste of tofu. <laughs> so should we go to the fire field or the northern range? Northern range. All right. That's what we started the last episode. Well, no, we actually didn't start. We were going to do it this episode, and then well, shenanigans and whatnot. So, uh, what are we gonna do? All right. Um, I'm back. <laughs> yeah. Gabe had to handle family. Northern range, you said. Yep. We said this is a 25-4, right? Yep. All right, let's do it. Wait, didn't we need Surf to get in here? Yeah, someone lied. Uh... Wait, is it in your inventory? Nope. Someone lied. Someone lied. Someone's going to die. So yeah, I'm going to guess that my guide was actually right. And we thought, we were assuming my guide was the one that was wrong. Oh, a beautifly. What a beautiful butterfly. Toy. Oh, you're welcome. Level 34. <clears throat> Justin. Justin. Wait, 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 what's happening? <laughs> <Justin>. <laughs> wait, no, no, no. Get, get rid of Ember. Get rid of Ember. We need smoke screen. Smoke screen is best weapon. Double flamethrower all the way! <laughs> By the way, you're peeking a little bit. Hang on, I'll grab a sock. Hopefully I'll find one I didn't masturbate into. Uh, I'm gonna hope you're joking. <laughs> Gabe, come on, that's a waste of a sock. Alright. Okay, ow! There we go. How's that? Ow! You gonna be okay? My ears! Sorry. I think that was the one I masturbated into. Justin. <laughs> be classy. I'm the classiest. I'm the classiest of whores. You're something, alright. Blow job for 50 cents. You're something, alright. Burn it. See, this is why you give me flamethrower. I didn't before because, you know, I didn't want you wasting all of it, but now that you have two flamethrowers. Uh, By the way, us. you know who's acting up in the in the chat again. Alright. By the way, Gravel Rock. And this is why it's called two birds with one stone, except that one had three heads, so it would be three birds with one stone, I guess. Yeah. Ninjas, that one Pokemon that that you couldn't get get to evolve properly. Just 
I, I don't want to talk about it. <laughs> I do. So, folks, while Gabe was trying to catch them all, he was trying to evolve uh, a Ninkeda into a Ninjask and get a Shedinja. He got the Ninjask, but unfortunately, he couldn't get a Shedinja. Why? Because the game was incredibly anal about it, and unfortunately, he needed a regular Pokeball to get the, the uh, Shedinja. He didn't have a regular Pokeball, so he didn't get the Shedinja. And one with 34 as well. Maybe I get a move too. No. That's that's disappointing. You're disappointing. Yeah. <laughs> I'm just kidding. <laughs> um. No, what else is disappointing? What? When your Pokemon evolves into the wrong Pokemon. <sighs> Shut up. Just seriously, take your mouth and just throw it away because I'm tired of your trash talking. I'm not talking trash, I'm recalling funny events. The viewers will love this shit. Shut up. What? It's not my fault you got a leafy on when you wanted a Sylveon. Just shut up. Never. <laughs> I'm pretty sure I'm pretty sure I found a uh store. Ginseng. Oh, I was looking at the map, yeah. Time to rob the cat clan! <laughs> Do you wanna die? I don't mind you dying. Gabe, Gabe, Gabe. You can't walk on water like I can. It will be worth showing it to the people. No, actually it won't because Gabe, I don't. Come on. I need We've I to do this. I need you for the boss. Actually, no, you don't. I don't know any dragon type moves. Just. By the way, the boss is totally Rayquaza again. Why are you dim? I give up on you. Because fuck logic. I'm giving up on you. You're breaking up with me! Oh! Did, did you get paralyzed and still just didn't yes. do anything? Yes. What do, son? Oh. Items. Sword stance. Yeah? Well, Ariel Ace, I'm a master of the skies. Even though he's a fucking alligator. Oh! <laughs> 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 I'm so done with this. These shenanigans shall not go on. These shenanigans need to keep happening. I'm loving this shit. Loving it so good. So good. Oh. Trap birth. Oh, maybe I should use that and break some traps. It only breaks the traps in one room. Yeah, I know. It might still be worth it. Now, don't step on it again, Gabe, because that will undo the seal. Well, to be fair, walking to the next floor would. Yeah. There we go. Good job, Raven. Uh, do we get any good items in this dungeon? Good to my recollection. Oh, so I'm teleporting you. Dick! You immediately killed something, so it was worth it. I could have died. Another shop! Rob him! No. He has crap steps to begin with. I encourage shoplifting. I can see it. It's because I'm black, isn't it? You're racist. You're black? <laughs> no, I'm totally Asian. I can see it. 4 plus 4 equals 44, right? <laughs> That's probably how that works. Swallow. Why did... Raven? Because Raven's a dick. Uh, Swallow, interesting story. That was the first legitimate shiny I ever got. Oh, cool. That Girl. is... Ooh. Guess what my first legitimate shiny was. Oh, right. I can only use dive on water. <laughs> hey, guys, let's go dive into the earth. Bonk. I, I can see it. You can see a lot of things, Gabe. But can you Look see why me. kids love Cinnamon Toast Crunch? Yes, actually. It's delicious. It doesn't even take eyes. All it takes is your mouth. Oh, shit. Uh, just use a water gun on... Water gun. There. I probably should point out the reason Gabe missed there is actually a weather effect. Oh, Fog yeah. Fog accuracy. Yeah, that's a fair point. But I've been missing plenty this episode. It's shenanigans. Maybe it's Deus Ex Machina. 
I don't think that's actually at all what that is. Eh, who knows? But don't let it bug you, Gabe. Just shut up. <laughs> Your puns aren't even good. <laughs> well, you'll have to swallow them anyway. Just shut up! Gabe, should I really crater to your desires? What are you even on about? <laughs> I'm just trying to be an absolute riot. You're something, alright. How did that deal 23 damage to you? Eh. That move isn't very strong at all. That, that spinner was... must be that metal. Ooh, it's not a... Steel t the you. only joke I'll explain is because that one was poorly timed on my part. It was because I, I said that because I used Metal Claw. Oh. I killed it. Yeah, that wasn't... It was poorly timed. Yeah. And all hail to the chief. You mean to the king? I know what I said. Yeah, well, any fan of Duke Nukem will think that you're an idiot. No one's a fan of Duke Nukem anymore. Ah, a lot of people actually like the original Duke Nukem's. The original? No one likes Duke Nukem anymore. Um. Okay. Really? You don't. Fine. Fine! Done with this. Cr I hate that we have to wait. Everyone taking all this damage. And then just gets healed up by the. It's more to annoy you than anything else, and that's why this amuses me. It's a silly mechanic that's just something that appeared in the original games. Which also appears in the second game, because weather effects do return. Yeah. The thing is that they're only bad during battles against ice types. Yep. Well, in this case, ice types. Um... Fine. Just die. I'm a majestic... <laughs> mm. <laughs> I'm done with this crap! <laughs> Kill it! You're terrible! <laughs> no, you just suck. I think, me. I'm gonna, I think me and Raven are gonna need some max elixirs too. <sighs> Only because, you know, you're losing it all. Do that. Because I've been trapped. No, I don't think that you're even losing any PP from that kind of thing. Eh. Only Raven and I are. Well, that's because I haven't stepped on, on a trap yet. I've just been using my moves. <laughs> Justin. Profes Professor Pothead is multiplying. Oh, he's level 27. Okay. Can I have an orange berry, please? Yeah, well, now you've earned something. Bitch, just feed me! I can't feed you when we're worrying about all of our lives. Motherfucker. There we go. Blowback, troll. That's an easier way to steal from the Keklion, actually. I wish we had gotten that earlier. Gabe got hit with nuts to the face. <laughs> ah. Petrify and escape. Petrify is actually pretty useful. Um. Gabe hits a lot. Wait, Gabe, do There you go. All Ten right. more floors. Yeah. Everyone attack him! Wait, there we go! Huh? Looks like he's Raven. going straight to hell. Should I even bother bringing all the items here, or should I just go? No, save it. 
Troll orbs are actually fairly rare in my experience, so I would save it for if you're robbing a Kecleon shop. Can I just keys? Your your audio your okay, dude. Your audio it goes really bad quality when you start getting that like. You know, it's kind of it kind of sounds like what Cassie does. Well, that's the only thing I need to hear to convince me to stop. Okay. <laughs> Northern range seventeen. Oh no! It's snowing. We wish you a Merry Christmas. Okay, we shut up. We wish you a Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year. Good tidings we bring to you. Oh, and just Christmas. shut we wish up. Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year. Okay, no, I had an item. Was it you who didn't have an item? Uh, no, you had the special band. Raven? In cross Oh no, you all had things. Yep. What about you? I have the X-ray specs. Oh right, there's nothing on the map for you to see. Well, this was the room with everything to see. Why'd you take off your X-ray specs? <laughs> because I was doing a thing. <laughs> doing the diddly do. I didn't mean to do me. You didn't mean to do yourself. Jesus, game. How the fuck did that happen? Just shut up. Not my fault. Shoot it around the corner. Thank you. Sniped. There we go. Critical hit. And who says I'm not useful? Most people. Fuck you. It was the staple of this Let's Play. Because I hadn't evolved yet. Ah. Uh. And now that I have evolved, I'm sniping people everywhere. All across the nation. You know what? I'm just going to use it. Nice try. Look, guys, it's Santa's crit. Oh no, it's dead! There we go. Now, let's go! Northern Range, 18th floor. Hey, look, water you can dive in. Yeah, not like it matters since I have you guys around. Oh, hey, Togetic! I actually like that Pokemon. Because it evolves into the fluffiest, most adorable Pokemon in the universe. Ow! <laughs> and it slapped your bitch ass in the next week. Ow! <laughs> this is why they made Toga kiss a bird. If they gave that thing real arms, it would have punched your shit in. Yeah. Honestly, Togetic reminds me of, uh... The one guy from, uh, Legend of Zelda, Twilight Princess. Never played it. Uku, that's who it is. Uku's named after the original, uh, uh, code for Link's green tunic. 00CC00. That's the Legend of Zelda 1 green. Hmm, weird. Alright, well... I have another flamethrower. Uh, yep. I'm not gonna enable smoke screen. There's you spam it too much. Because it's the best move in the game. Warp scarf. Don't need it. I don't need <laughs> it. I don't need no, it. You actually don't need it because it's a terrible item that you only throw on a po on like a really strong boss Pokemon that's just wandering the floors. Although that doesn't appear until the next game, so it's really useless. What I do with it is I put it on, I teleport, and then I take it off. Yeah, but you have no control over where you teleport. Yeah, but I'm hoping I teleport somewhere I haven't been, which at the beginning of the four is always. Eh? To me, it's useless. At least until the second game where I can throw it on a random boss Pokemon wandering the floor and watch his bitch ass teleport randomly until I'm ready to fight him. 
I wish you drained their hunger like it drains yours. It would be funny, but you can't do that unless you throw a hunger seed at someone. Yeah, which I have. Which means you could very feasibly cause your opponent to starve to death. Thank. <laughs> I hate you. You know what's funny? I could probably snipe it, but you're in the way. I don't trust you to actually do it and not get yourself killed. I, if I'm not standing next to him, he can't do it. Okay. Well, it worked out. Duh. I've played this game infinitely more than you have. I think... <laughs> oh my god, that's fucking funny. That is fucking funny. Twice at the same goddamn floor. <laughs> oh, Jesus. Oh, Jesus. Oh, hi, Professor Pothead. Did you foresee that that ass whooping Gabe took? Because I wish I did. I think I hate you. Not my fault, to get your ass beat. I think I hate you. Look at this salty ass motherfucker right here. The salt is real, ladies and gentlemen. This man is saltier than Ebenezer Scrooge. And I'm out of PP for flamethrower. Okay. Are you afraid to get close to people, Gabe? Is that why you throw iron spikes at them? No, I just don't like people. <laughs> when they when they try to socialize with me, I try to attack them because I really don't like people. And yet somehow he wound up with a girlfriend before me. How odd. There we go. Oh. Silver Spike. More powerful than the uh, fucking iron, iron Spike. Then there's the infinitely rare Gold Spike. I don't remember those very well. They're, like, very rare, like, as rare as a citrus berry. Yeah, those are great. I cannot wait to find those. I actually they... found a lot of them in my first playthrough. And the best place to find them is the Buried Relic. What? What? Sure. <laughs> Have fun. <laughs> I never got that move. I turned into a decoy. Let every other one of the wild Pokemon on this floor fucking beat my ass into submission. Excuse me, but I'm pretty sure that's a bad idea. I'm not going to bother with those items over there. We're almost done with the dungeon. Almost. Don't starve to death. Gabe, just walk to the stairs. Yeah. I'm done with your shenanigans! <laughs> Gabe, don't starve to this before we get to the boss, please. So I one. want to have a rematch with where Quaze would be epic, and if you're starving to death, that wouldn't help. There we go. And now, finally. <laughs> Good. As long as it doesn't use reflect before you kill it. And another Noctowl. Get sniped. Mm. <laughs> oh, Jesus Christ, that is too much. Well. It's not like the Evasion Orb will really help you. It's better than the Escape Orb I picked up. Here we are. 425, and look at that majestic ass motherfucker. Like a dolphin. Oh, fish. who are you? I see you're trying to get your TMs back. But nobody can, stop me. nobody can stop me. I'm the Eon Pokemon Latios. 
if you really want your TMs back, you have to take them from me. Hey, hey! Wait, Gabe, throw a hunger. See that him. Well then. I hate you. <laughs> I forgot bosses could do that. Wait, Gabe, turn on smoke screen. This will be invaluable to us. This is kind of pathetic. He's not going to be able to attack us at all. Oh, what? You want a fair fight? <laughs> well, it, it feels pathetic. <laughs> the move was... <laughs> what? <laughs> it missed Latios. Excuse me. This is why I love Smokescreen. <clears throat> Boys, please let me go. I have to go. There's somewhere I have to go. If I don't hurry, my little sister... Oh, he's he's an Onichan. Uh, no, I still don't want to save quite yet. In case we fuck up. Well, look, he's waking up. Oh, that's you. Sorry, I stole your line. Where? This is Pokemon Square. The usual hangout. You fainted in the Northern Range. We brought you back here. Time to answer for your crimes. You, how dare you steal my fine selection of quality merchandise? You had better be prepared for hard justice! No, no, wait. no, wait. There must be a good reason for this. We should at least hear that. Huh? That's right, I have to get to my sister. Oh, uh, hey, on chan This wound. You're injured. You can't fly for now. Yeah, sorry, Tell that was me, my bad. How do you justify what you've done? Uh, 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 no, I can't. I kind of want. I I want to have that on loop now. It's just that shaking the head. No, I have a younger sister. Her name is Latias. Latias crashed somewhere crashed in Pitfall, somewhere in Pitfall Valley. Valley. Why are we both saying it? What the Pitfall I want more Valley? Don't give me any. You have every character here. You have half the characters here. No, I don't. Yeah, you do. I have the shiny Kecleon, and that's it. No, you have myself. you have the Kecleons and you. I don't usually voice the Kekalon because they don't usually say anything. <laughs> what is that? What is the Pitfall Valley? It's near the Northern Range. They said one who was unlucky to fall into Pitfall Valley will never emerge again. Latias and I were flying over the Northern Range when suddenly what appeared to be a meteorite struck Latias on the wing. Boom! Headshot! Oh no, that's our fault! <laughs> oh no, that's our fault! Sniped. <laughs> Her wing shattered by the blow, letting us tumble down to the depths of the pitfall wait, valley. Wait, hold on, time out, time out, time out. Her wing shattered, as in went kerplowed. So does that mean that I the... Think the least of the worries here is just getting her out of a cursed valley? No, she should be bleeding out. Yes, we need to get her to somewhere safe. Is the point? No, Justin. Wait, a meteorite. Uh, Gabe? Gabe? Do you think that might have been the, a chunk of the thing we exploded? I went to the Pitfall Valley in hopes of rescuing my sister, but I made little headway. I wasn't up to the task. So that drove you to steal my technical machines. Yes, I intended to make amends after I saved my sister, but that doesn't mean I can get away with thievery. It was wrong, and I'm sorry. Bitch ass, nigga. Oh, oh my. It's not a problem, not a problem at all. For reasons are compelling, you can't be helped, since you was a bitch, nigga. However, even if you are born to the depths of the Pitfall Valley, what would you do then? The nether regions of the Pitfall Valley are void. You will wander <laughs> forever, <laughs> neither, neither yeah, falling, just... neither living. What the... How, are those... Are those unique to each other? Are falling and living two different things? Yes. You cannot <laughs> be falling and alive. <laughs> what then? Uh, so much time has passed since my sister crashed. Ladias hasn't been able to climb out of the depths. She is all alone down there. Even if I end up like her, unable to escape, two would be better than one. Ladias wouldn't have to be alone. 
How foolish. Do you think RTS wishes for that? But... It's a place you can't escape, isn't it? I don't see how we could do a rescue in a place like that. No. There is... There is but one possible way. Of course, the Asian has the answer. What is it, smartass? You already have the means in your possession. The teleport gem. Use that. The fuck? When did I learn teleport? You don't remember? You know when we teleported to the giant castle in the sky? Wait, Howl's moving castle? Yeah. <laughs> so wait, does that make Rikuiza Howl? And that, does that mean we just killed one of the most hilarious Miyazaki characters ever? Yes, while it is unlikely that you... Unlucky to carry you to the sky. Oh it should, no! It should be able to carry you a shorter distance if you were to use the teleport gem from the deep within the pitfall valley. That's it. If we did that, we could escape with Latias. Get some fresh poo tang. Gabe, let's go. All right, pitfall valley. We gain access to two dungeons this episode. Yep. All right, guys. So next time, let's play Pokemon Mystery Dungeon Boo Rescue. We're going to get some pussy. Post game, we are going into the Pitfall Valley probably, and not the other one. The other one might be the episode after that. But this is all dramatic, and I kind of want to see if. And uh, he's still avoiding going to the 99th floor dungeon. This bitch nigga. What 99th floor dungeon? The buried relic. Did we say that was 99th floors? Yes, I know for a fact it's 99th floors. Hmm. Well, yeah, we're not going there. Uh, so we're going other Dick. places. Wine, wine, wine. See you guys next time. Yeah.